previously on Jets at Zero. The easiest thing for a Westerner to do here is to teach English. There's basically a few sites which help ESL teachers find jobs here. She asked me if I had a degree, which I don't, so I faked my way through it. I've never worked at a daycare center, but I'm happy. I have a job. <laughs> So I haven't really been looking for a job. I've been having such a good time not working and just enjoying Saigon. I met Ben last week. Friday morning, we packed up our shit and went to Cambodia. <laughs> we went like a lot, watching the sunrise. You know, it's short-term romance. I'm not gonna sit here and cry and pine over him. He's like, I wanna go to Sydney and be with him forever. That, that's just fucking unrealistic. What would you say, like three inches above like water? Three. <laughs> three inches, two. two inches above the water. Depends which one you take. We stopped to have a bite to eat at the little fishing village, and now we've gotten in a really sketchy, sketchy little boat. Just a little, just a little sketchy. We're like barely on top of the water right now. <laughs> This is so rad, but so frightening at the same time. <laughs> we were away in Cambodia together in the full fantasy world where everything was perfect. It was hard to come back to know that he's going to be leaving in less than 24 hours. I have another 25 hours before he gets on the plane. <laughs> I think there'll be a little bit of water. So I'm going to try really hard not to because I just don't want to, but... I know. Are you taking him to the airport? I don't know. Maybe. You should. You think so? Yeah. And then you can, it's like private, right? You do it here, everybody else will want to say goodbye to him too at the same time. Yeah. And you won't have that little like personal goodbye where if you want to cry, it's like you're by yourself, right? Um, and then you can like say goodbye to him on your own. Yeah. That makes sense. It's funny how being on the road just fucks with you, hey? Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily in a bad way, not, not, not necessarily in a good way, you know? Being at home, I'm always like, I don't need a man, I can do everything myself. Yeah. You know, I, and for once, I just kind of gave into it a little bit, and it was kind of nice, I guess. I don't want to compare it all, but it's just like, even like the Hussein thing, it was only like with him for two nights, and he's been fucking emailing me every single day, and it's just been like way more intense every single day, and I'm just like, dude, oh. Why do circumstances always have to be fucking wrong? <laughs> I'm definitely going to stay in Saigon and finish off the three months in Saigon as planned. Um, after that, part of me wants to go to Sydney and see what could happen with Ben. It scares the shit out of me. Um, I've only known him for three weeks. But this last week kind of really solidified whatever bond we have. Literally sunrise to sunset, we wake up. We went to the temples and we watched the sunrise and then we'd go somewhere else and we'd watch the sunset somewhere else and spend the evening together and it's 24-7 and for three weeks, pretty much. I don't know. We packed six months into three weeks. Salkum so good something something. Salkum so good so kak. As you can tell, I mastered the Turkish language when I was in Istanbul. <laughs> I'm sending a box of goodies to Hussein in Turkey. Um, he's been very nice to me and he's been emailing me every day since I've left basically. So I'm sending him a box of like total touristy Vietnamese crap, but I thought it'd be something nice at least. very vulnerable when you're traveling. You, emotionally, you don't really have many people to kind of latch on to. Hussein in Turkey was super, super important to me when I left, and then even since I've been gone, the more I talk to him, the more I get to like him and actually get to know him. This is the most amount of paperwork I've ever had to do to send out a package in my life. There's just sometimes people that come into your life that you know are important to you no matter what, regardless of where you're from, where you came from, anything like that. So. I kind of feel like that about Hussein sometimes. Uh, how many days you want? I don't know, maybe one month? Okay, one month. Uh, how many days can go? One month. Sydney don't have one month. Oh, very cheap. Only one month, you know. That's not very cheap. One month, long time. I know, it's business every day for you. What about two months? 
Two man. Yeah. Hai lắng. Ok, send by uh, one man city, two man one hundred twenty. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a better price. Two, one month. Thirty days. One month. All of December. I don't have any expectations for meeting someone when we're traveling and from our experience, it's pretty transient, right? So people are coming, they might only be in Saigon for like two weeks and then they're leaving. So there's this understanding that if you do meet someone, it's not gonna be forever. It stays really casual that way. And I'm not looking for it, but if it came, I'd probably take it. I made a tooth picking. Huh? I don't understand why you're just carrying flaws with you. I got some. Until we hit there. <laughs> Shall be attached? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I've never really been put in a situation like this. So when I come home and he's not here, I'm not really sure what that's going to be like. Because I've, I've never experienced anything like this before. Hey, guess what? Come on, I'm flying out of Hanoi. So now they're trying to get you on the flight to Taipei. Well, there's seats allegedly, but she said, oh, there's no seats available until fucking December something. Okay. So I'll go there and say that I want to change my flight. Yes, you say that. You say that. You say with them that you want to change the flight. So? She said, wait five more minutes. Yeah. Because they're not getting anything back from Sydney. Yeah. And, um,. doesn't look good. I don't know how I'll be. I, I, I want to say I'll be fine. I hope I'll be fine. Um, but it's been such an intense three weeks that I might not be. Be at home. He'll be home soon. Day <sighs> You want to just get really shit drunk again today? No, not really. <laughs> what now? <laughs> I'm going to have an American car. <laughs> It's weird as well, it's just 